Hi friends. In this video, I'm going to try to help you determine if your vintage coach bag is authentic or not. Every bag on this table, if you have in your collection, amongst all the other bags in my videos that you see, you can find online. Go to Google, pull out the creed in your bag, or if it doesn't come out, write it down, get the creed number. All vintage coach bags have creed numbers except for the early, early bags. Go to Google, type in the brand coach, and then the creed number. If your bag's authentic, you'll see it in the search where it says shopping or images. If it's not authentic, you won't find it. However, I do have three or four vintage coach bags that are rare, that are authentic, that no one had ever posted online to sell or t talked about. Sometimes you will come across a rare bag that you can't find in research. Some of you know, coach began in 1941 and it was owned by Lillian and Miles Kahn. And the name wasn't Coach, it was Manhattan Leather at the time. They hired six artisans and they made 12 bags, all in tan. And then in 1962, they hired Bonnie Cashin. And she came up with different colors to the brand, such as brick red, mustard yellow, green grass, and the interiors were striped. That was her trademark, that and the turn lock, which I have a video on that too. And if you find an F that's in your creed, that doesn't mean that it's fake or anything. The letter F means it's a factory outlet bag, which is of lower quality. And then you'll have the Coach New York. And then better than that, you'll have the Coach 1941. And then these vintage bags are top dog when it comes to the Coach brand. Some of these bags is going to be in our uh, Christmas giveaway, our holiday giveaway. I ordered from Coach the Dinky Chain, and it's to come in any day for this bag. I thought this bag would be cute with the Dinky Chain. This ain't it. It's coming from Coach. But, yeah, some of these bags will be in the giveaway. Back to the brand. In 2002, Coach moved production to China. That's when a lot of us stopped buying Coach bags because they started cutting corners and the brand just wasn't Coach any, anymore until lately. They're really killing it now. But the bags never will be as good as these vintage bags. They use solid brass. The brass is solid. It's not hollow. It's solid brass. And the leather, you cannot beat the leather on these vintage bags. And also, some information that's out there that's not true is Coach only used YKK zippers. That is not true. Although, many of these bags are YKK zipper. The very earliest bags, they used Tallinn. I have some, uh, like my old briefcase, it's a Tallinn zipper. That was their first, was, and it's a USA-based zipper, Tallinn. Then from Tallinn, they went to Eclair, from Eclair to Riri, and then Dove and Ziplon. And some of the older Odor zippers didn't even have a name. It was just a trademark or a number. Okay, friends. I don't know if I left anything out. Uh, there shouldn't be no cell phone pocket. Because cell phones weren't a thing back then. And also, in the well-known uh, fake bags in the creed, you'll see the, the letters NT. They never used those numbers, NT, before the, they never used those letters before the numbers. Okay, friends, this T here, I'm telling you, this T here, 
This is the very best tea. I love this tea. But anyways, we're going to have a giveaway coming up. And I think for this holiday giveaway, we're going to do something special. And we're also almost at the 1,000 subscriber mark. We're going to have 10 winners, I believe, in that giveaway. I will announce the Christmas giveaway uh, when, uh, when that comes in effect. And it's coming up soon. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and have a great day. Bye.